video games market to grow threefold, surpassing US. Okay, let's check that one out. Benzinga. So Benzinga is um it's like a financial, like a investing website. <clears throat> so anytime that comes up on the market like that, you almost have to pay attention, you know what I mean? Especially if you're in the industry, like we are as the content creators. Yeah, so let's see. Video games market to grow three. It's not right. Lake is not uh, rated there, man. I gotta check it. Uh, three full surpassing US 510 billion by 2031. We're at 200 billion right now. Wow. Google and Meta to be the trend. What? Wait, 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 wait. Video games market to grow three fold surpassing US 510 billion by 2031. Google and Meta to be the trend setters wow hey, xbox and uh and placed in uh xbox and playstation are not here this is not a gaming website guys this is legitimately uh, a business as you can see the from, from the tickers up on top video game <coughs> sorry video game companies leveraging best AR and VR experiences to provide seamless gaming experience. The video games market analysis offered by Fact.MR scrutinizes key growth factors that are impacting sales in the market. The report provides in-depth insights covering key factors such as drivers, opportunities, key players, strategies, and demand outlook. In addition to this, the study analyzes latest trends across various segments, segments such as game type, hardware, physical platform, and digital platform across key regions. August 25th, the global video games market is likely to grow at 13%, uh, I think this is year after year, between 2021 and 2031. <clears throat> That's a 10-year uh, span. Global video game sales are expected to reach almost U.S. $510 billion by 2031, with developing countries accounting for sizable demand during the forecast period of 2021-2031. That's, that's what? Mexico, Brazil, India, um, uh, what's another? China, I guess. I, I don't know about you guys, but this is the kind of stuff that I like to, to find. Because a lot of the um, the cloud gaming content creators don't really cover like finance, like you know ma market growth as much. Even Sunny, who I'm assuming is aware of this, since he keeps bringing it up, uh, doesn't really make videos on this because it's too boring for most people. You know what I mean? The video game market continues to witness steady growth, prompting tech giants such as Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and Apple. What happened to the comma right here? and Apple to enter this lucrative space and Netflix, Google Stadia and Meta's Unity technologies are already quite popular with amateur gamers. Yep, that's me, amateur gamer. Uh, according to fact.mr's analysis, a key focus are for video game companies is to make a shift from cartridges, discs, to streaming cloud-based services. Subscription-based video games offerings are also gaining popularity as the, these are affordable for users. For critical insight on this market, a request for more info. Uh, okay, bah, 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 bah. Video game manufacturers are also incorporating virtual reality and augmented reality to provide an immersive experience to their users. For instance, Oculus VR has launched virtual, and the price went up on Oculus VR too, right? A hundred bucks extra or something. Uh, launched virtual reality headsets that provide an amazing sound experience to users. Uh, as per fact, MR's analysis, numerous video game manufacturers are likely to integrate VR and AR in their offerings to gain competitive edge. So I know Sony has uh, VR. Does Xbox have VR? Do you guys know if Xbox has that? Key takeaways. The U.S. is expected to remain a lucrative market for video game companies. Uh, Fact.MR estimates the market to grow at 11%. <clears throat> I know what this is. But I forget the actual uh, carry annual growth rates. Okay, C. What's a C for? Annual growth rate. I don't know. Uh, during 2021 to 3031. 2031. China is one of the most prominent markets for video games globally and recorded sales at US 30 billion in 2020. There's a lot of the gaming uh, uh, 
developers or like the like uh, Tencent is in China, right? Based on digital platform, mobile, tablet, video games are likely to remain most preferred registering 11% during the forecast period by hardware handheld console video games are anticipated to gain traction during the assessment period uh, virtual reality in terms of digital platform is let me take this off is expected to witness impressive growth at 10% between 2021 and 2031 growth of drivers innovation in gaming technology has led to better graphics and user experience creating renewed interest among gamers propelling growth growing smartphone and internet penetration has created easy access easy accessibility allowing more people to play video games so when i left mexico when i was nine years old which i'm old now so that's 30 something years ago uh the phone in our house was the one you had to crank and they would call the operators and the operators would pull the, the led would or the little light would flash and they would pull that one and connect it and be like you know hey what do you need and then you give them the phone number and then they would connect you to that number it was literally a two-digit number when i left so that's 30 years ago and then when i went back uh i think um when's the last time i went back anyways a couple years ago yeah last year I went back last year. Everybody had a cell phone. Everybody. Like, I mean, you can buy cell phones off of the Walmarts over there. They're not all Walmart. They have Walmart, but the one that's close to my town is uh, it's not it's Walmart-like, but not Walmart. And I would buy, I, you can buy a cell phone for like 30 bucks. You know what I mean? Because you would pay, because they rather charge, they make money from the service than for the from the phone. So the phone is super cheap. Uh, and then you can buy pre prepaid cards and all that. So if in my little tiny town, that 30 years ago I still had the little crank uh, phones. Um, if if everybody over there could now afford cell phones, psh, man, wait till wait till September comes and and Mexico uh, and state of drops in Mexico. It's gonna be fun. <clears throat> I'm excited. Advent of online streaming, AR and VR, has boosted the popularity of video games, making them appealing to a broader audience. So I know what VR means, virtual reality. Normally you get glasses, right? Um, augmented reality, is that the same thing? Because AI is artificial intelligence, which doesn't seem like it's... Can anybody explain what... You know what? Let's just do it. Augmented. Aug I can't spell it. Reality. So I'm assuming it's like a w open world in VR. <clears throat> um, augmented versus virtual reality. We build true to life. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's an ad. I don't want to add. What is augmented reality for? Key takeaways. Augmented reality involves overlaying visual, auditory, or other way sensory information onto the world in order to enhance one's experience. Retailers and other companies can use augmented reality to promote. Oh, I, I know what it is. It's like when you put your phone up to like a, a wall or like a Pokemon Go, right? You put your, uh, you, oh, what happened right here? You put your um, phone up to the street and then you see the little Pokemon run around, right? Um, okay, interesting. Restraints. <clears throat> Health impact of video games. Mm. Especially their role in myopia has meant. What is myopia? Uh, myopia. Nearsightedness. Oh, okay. He wore some spectacles to correct. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought I was having issues just because I'm old, but yeah, it could be me on the screen all day has meant that many parents are now opting for physical games and activities. This has led to a decline in sales in many countries. Governments around the world are banning certain video games based on user complaints, uh, China, right? Or security threats, which has created challenges for video game manufacturers. <clears throat> uh, competitive landscape. Leading video game companies are launching new versions of their best-selling games to get garner attention of consumers. Video game companies are also incorporating latest technology to improve the overall gaming experience for users. 
Further, mergers and acquisitions are also a key strategy for video games manufacturers to boost their position in this market. For instance, in August 2022, Microsoft announced it is interested in acquiring Activision Blizzard for US $70 billion. The deal is currently being received by re reviewed by regulators around the world. So if China made $30 billion in one year, this guy's, these guys bought uh, Blizzard for $70 billion. That's more than twice the uh, the amount. Uh, Take Two Interactive, maker of popular Grand Theft Auto, bought mobile giant Zynga for US twelve billion in twenty twenty two. Well, see, this is when you can uh, believe it's a little bit more credible, but not. You still gotta be careful to you know you gotta you gotta do your own research. But uh, wouldn't you say that a report from a financial institute? of future you know gaming companies is most more credible than a magazine trying to get clicks what do you guys think because if these guys are putting bad info that affects their customers who are coming in for accurate information on you know on the market so key companies profiled by fact mr activision blizzard nintendo nvidia sony so they were analyzed look at that so they had an nvidia they had sony microsoft uh, Electronic Arts, Ubisoft, King Digital, Supercell, Take Two, Vivendi, Konami, Disney, THQ, and oh, they didn't say Google, but they they said Google up front. More valuable insight on video games market in the late latest study, Fact MR offers a detailed study on global video games for the forecast period of 2021 to 2031. This study also highlights key drivers promoting the sales of video games markets with analysis across below segments. Game type, action video games, adventure, arcade, casual, children's entertainment video games, strategy, sports, shooters, uh, role-playing video games, racing video games. Like uh, These are like my, my top two right here. Hardware, handheld console video games, st st static console video games, video gaming accessories. Physical platforms, computer video games, console video games, digital platforms, online video games, mobile tablet, handheld video, or virtual reality video games. Regions, North America, Latin America. Oh, so they only looked at these? <coughs> Who's missing? Oh, they said Latin America, though. <coughs> Key questions covered in the video markets Board. What is the projected value of the video games market in 2021? What will be the demand outlook for games? Okay, I think the answer will this. The gaming controller market is poised to expand at over 7%. The global wearable gaming uh, accessories market is valued at $3.4 billion. The gaming hardware market is valued at $36.3 billion. 30, so if it's 36.3, oh, the hardware. So that means a lot of the money comes from streaming then, even if it's just digital downloads, right? Uh, and are the set to reach 56.8 billion. Demand in market is primarily attributed to rapid technological advancements such as cloud gaming or gaming as a service in video games. Hmm. All right. Okay, that was pretty interesting to me. Uh, so it's going to triple in the next 10 years, which is what uh, Sunny and them are always talking about. <clears throat> that's exciting especially because i'm pretty new at, ow, pretty new gamer so in 10 years i'm gonna be 52 still younger than some of you guys <laughs> just messing with you man <laughs>